As concerns over the environmental impact of conventional plastics continue to grow, many have turned to bioplastics as a potential solution. In this context, the Nenu Tufa research project was born. It brings together 17 innovative European actors with the goal of producing bio-based plastic materials from a sustainable resource, microalgae. With the support of the European Union and the BBIJU program, the project aims to establish a sustainable value chain for PHA-based bioplastics, from the production of microalgae to the recycling and biodegradation of the final bioplastic products. The best advantage, I would say, of Nenu Too Far is first that there is no competition with edible resources. We don't use any feedstock, which is currently used for either human nutrition or animal nutrition. And we don't use any land to produce. Microalgae are uh, small uh, plants that grow very, very fast uh, and they use CO2 and uh, light to grow. Here at CEA, we are developing an industrial process to produce microalgae biomass and at the same time uh, make this biomass accumulate starch. This starch uh, will be then used as a feedstock to produce uh, bacteria that will accumulate the PHA bioplastic that will be used uh, in the rest of the nano to far project. Uh, here at Salabor, uh, we uh, received the microalgae that uh, were produced by the, our partner CEA. And using different pretreatment and uh, extraction technologies, we extract the starch from the microalgae and then we convert it into simple sugar, uh, glucose. The idea is to obtain uh, several liters of this uh, concentrated glucose um, syrup that will then be used to uh, produce bacteria that contain PHA, our bioplastic. Uh, then recover these bacteria and from them we extract uh, the PHA they contain to obtain pure PHA in the end. So for the fermentation there is one tricky challenge, is the scale-up part. So the bacteria don't behave the same if you cultivate them in small laboratory size reactor or in large scale production. So at UBS, we worked on the laboratory scale to optimize the fermentation process and select the bacteria that we want to use in large scale. We worked on the assessment of the biodegradation in marine environment of PHA, because PHA has this very interesting property to nearly completely biodegrade in marine environment and up to 90% in six months, which is higher than most bio-based polymers. Biotrend is responsible for the production of such biopolymers using a raw material produced by microalgae. This requires the optimization of the fermentation protocol for this specific raw material, and this is done in fully controlled 2 liter bioreactors. At Biotrend's facilities, we also have the ability of further scale up the process from 10 liter to 200 liter scale from bioreactors with the same features present at industrial scale. Elixens is the consortium specialist in compound formulation and manufacturing. We receive the native PHB, we prepare it by micronization and extrude it into pellets. These pellets are then used to formulate PHA-based materials that will be used to make the nine high-volume consumer products of the project. Our activities in the Far project are focused on the development of different PHA-based materials, uh, packaging, medical devices, uh, agricultural field applications. We are also developing nanocrystals of starch and cellulose to improve the barrier properties of the final materials. And regarding the end of life, we are also working on the development of, of fluorescent markers for sorting activities and also evaluating the end of life the materials taking into account the possibility of mechanical, enzymatic and chemical recycling and also the compostability under home and industrial conditions. IPC is in charge of mechanical recycling. We have a dedicated platform for that. We first study the sorting of the PHA formulation to make sure that they don't contaminate the plastic waste. And we have proven successfully that we can sort PHA formulation with a high accuracy. 
Once the PHA formulation are sorted, they are subjected to different pretreatments that are grinding, washing, and regeneration. We get recycled pellets that are converted to assess their mechanical properties. We are using the life cycle sustainability assessment methodology to be sure that uh, the products we are developing and the materials we are developing in our project are uh, more sustainable than the fossil-based counterparts. And it includes the assessment of the environmental, economic and social impacts. To promote the social acceptability of the end-to-far developments, we have surveyed uh, different stakeholders like uh, consumers and producers of the targeted products and we are now organizing a uh, social acceptability workshop with relevant players. Scientists and industrial experts all over Europe are actively researching solutions to bring bioplastics and biodegradable products to the market. Bio-based plastics produced from microalgae emerge as a sustainable alternative to traditional petroleum-based plastics offering a promising solution for addressing environmental concerns related to plastic pollution. Stay tuned to follow this adventure on nenu2far.eu.